Hello, and welcome to Techtronics. Today we're going to talk about cursor measurements versus automated measurements on a DPO and MSO 4000 series oscilloscope. I'm using a signal generator to produce a sine waveform with amplitude of 1 volt and frequency of 1 megahertz. One way to assess a measurement of our waveform is to use cursors to locate our specific values of interest and to do the math ourselves. Another way to perform a measurement on an oscilloscope is to use the measurement feature. And as you can see, we have a wide array of options to choose from. Using rise time as an example, we can see a side-by-side -side comparison between cursor measurements and automated measurements. Our signal has an amplitude of 1 volt peak to peak ranging from negative 500 millivolts to 500 millivolts. So our 10% is negative 400 millivolts and our 90% is 400 millivolts. And you can see my cursors are approximately at these values. Now you can see that my change in time in regards to my cursors is approximately 288 nanoseconds. However, our rise time measurement has a mean value of approximately 281 nanoseconds. Now, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but this yields an error of approximately 2-4%. to And this may not be a critical issue depending on what you're doing and what you're looking for, but cursors are typically used for crude measurements, so you could imagine the potential for human error, whereas the measurement feature will be using every data point as it records 5 gigasamples per second and will yield much more accurate results. Now realize that we can scale in incredibly far and get more accurate readings from the cursors, but the measurement feature will always save you time and yield more accurate results in the process, especially when using more complex measurements. And speaking of scaling in, if we select our indicators and turn them on, and then we scale on in, we can see how the machine's measurements differ from our own using the cursors. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.